everybody welcome back to the all things good channel and to another video how are you all hope you are all doing really well this week thank you for joining me it's lovely to see you it's raining i'm not even going to talk about it because i'm sick of it quite frankly i am sick of this so-called spring we have entered let's not even talk about it and get on to all things good instead very busy week this week. I've got lots of household things to do this week because on Saturday, so actually you'll be watching this video on Sunday. So yesterday, my son coming back from university, haven't seen him since Christmas, super excited about that. So I've got his bed linen to wash, his room to sort out, generally just keeping the house nice and clean and tidy. So I've got quite a few jobs to do. Got some shopping to show you, of course, some lovely deliveries, a beautiful traditional beef stew and dumplings to show you, made of course by the wonderful Invisible Chef, and a little wine review for you as well. So lots of different things going on this week and let's just get into it. I hope you enjoy this week's video. Hello. Good morning. You got your rain hat today? Thanks. Yeah. It's from Vivian Marie. I've got mine. Mine's attached. Yours is attached. I've got an attached one as well. Yes. But it's so blooming rainy today that I decided to wear my, my bucket hat as well. Much as frisker. Aren't we just sick of this so called spring Not good. weather? Not good. Not good. At the weekend, Mom, you had. Um, traditional beef stew and dumplings didn't you yes very a nice. bit like what your my mother used to mother do. used to make yes and you enjoyed that didn't you absolutely well you finished before everybody else and bring on the dumplings <laughs> the plate was clear yes which is very unusual for me so you did you really enjoyed that yes. and then you've got um another meal being made for you this weekend Beef Wellington. Oh, nice. Homemade beef Wellington. Adam will have the vegetarian version, which will be made with mushrooms. And then we get to see Adam. Yeah, we're looking forward to seeing Adam. It's been a long time since we've seen Adam. Yes. Christmas time. And hopefully he won't have grown anymore. <laughs> or six foot four of him. Well, my uncle was six foot seven. My dad was tall. Yes, my dad was six foot three. Yes, so. And Adam is like my dad in many ways. Absolutely. So, and my sister was tall. My sister was five foot eleven. Well, with one child coming home at the weekend and the other one having her 19th birthday at the weekend, I did need quite a few bits and pieces this week. Mm -hmm. 
you may remember I mentioned very briefly my local butchers Smith and Ellis who are a traditional butchers and charcuterie absolutely fabulous here in the little village that I live in and I'm off there this morning to go and collect um, a kilo of shin of a beef because later today Paul is going to make a very traditional beef stew and dumplings and primarily for mom really because this that's a, a very very standard and traditional meal that my grandma used to cook for my mom and my grandma was a professional chef and she actually lived in a stately home and was the head chef for Lord and Lady Reed in London so obviously this was many years ago. My, I, didn't rem I don't remember my mom's mom, my granny. She was 87 when she died and I was two when she died. So that she was 87, 46 years ago. Talking a long, long time. But mom's really looking forward to this meal. So just off down the butchers, um, he's got it all ready, diced and prepped for me. I'm super pleased about. So let's go and get what we need. butchers down at Smith and Ellis here at Fradley, my local village, my local butchers. Actually, you haven't been here that long, Mark, have you? How long have you been Three here? Three years. Is it? Three years. Oh my goodness, yeah, how flies. time flies. And you've got another butchers as well? In Tamworth. Wow. Yeah. Another Smith and Ellis. Another Smith and Ellis. And how long have Smith and Ellis been around? They've been around seven years. The butchers in Tamworth has actually been there nearly 80 years. We took wow. It on. Uh, it's always been family run and we took it on seven years ago. Our son-in-law manages that one and our son who's in the back prepping at the moment manages this one. Wow, love it. And what have you got for me today? It's going to be diced beef shin Ooh. or stewer casserole. Um, perfect. Absolutely perfect cut for that. Anything that's slow cooked you want the most flavour. So yep. you'd, be, you'd be normally talking braising, shin, um, brisket. Brisket's a great, a great meal as well. But slightly different cooking method for that. Um, 
going to bring up the shin, diced, being diced so it retains the moisture. And uh, we've got it ready. Uh, I'll show you. Lovely. I've already got your four of the bag done ready. Here's the one you made earlier. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, there's one that I made earlier, but that's the kind of thing we're, we're looking at. That's fantastic. And it, it's important that you use a dish like that because Unlike a steak, where you're looking at things that are cooked quick, the, the things like shit have got collagen um, and other materials in them that not only are really good for you, but they really add to the flavour. But you need that time to break them down, to get them into the, into the cooking liquor, into the gravy. That's amazing. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so looking forward to that because we will do. Earlier. Yay! I know, I guessed at one kilo and I got it wrong. It's 995 grams. Oh, I'll let you off. That will do nicely. Thank I you, know. sir. And it's £9.93, which is fantastic value because when you consider that's going to feed between four and six people, the cost proportion and the taste is just perfect. It's this fantastic. Is what we need to learn to do more at home. Yeah. Cook at home. Absolutely. Best quality, best nutrition, and it tastes great. Absolutely love it. Thank you so much. You we will show you the results. And I think the invisible chef was very happy with his ingredients for this lovely beef stew and dumplings. And my goodness, it was super delicious.
was scrumptious. I can honestly say that was the tastiest stew I have probably ever had. It was lovely. It's nothing like home cooking, is there? And I'm so fortunate at the moment that Paul doesn't find cooking a chore. He absolutely loves doing it. And I'm quite happily loving receiving it, quite frankly. And the other thing that I wanted to mention to you in line with the cooking is actually a couple of wines that I have tried recently. Now, those of you that know me of old know that generally I don't drink alcohol or very, very little alcohol. Um, I might do it at Christmas, special occasions, birthdays or going out or something, but I just don't drink an awful lot um, <clears throat> for various reasons. And having previously lived with an alcoholic as well, that was challenging and I just naturally didn't have alcohol in the house when the children were little because I brought them up on my own so I was aware that I didn't want to drink in the evenings in case I had to take them to a doctor or hospital or get in the car and drive so I sort of naturally stopped drinking um, when the children were very little and then um, obviously being in a household or you know part of the, the week with um, an alcoholic was very challenging at times. So I just didn't have alcohol in the house. So for a long time, I didn't drink at all. Um, but recently, and now that I'm with Paul, he has introduced me to some lovely red wines that have really complemented the dishes that he has made thus far and shown you here on the channel. So I just wanted to share them with you really, because I am no wine connoisseur at all. But I have had red wine in the past and sometimes I've liked it, sometimes I haven't, sometimes it's given me a headache, sometimes I find it a bit, bit vinegary in the taste and I perhaps haven't tried really nice ones or the right ones. So three that we have had recently that I've really liked are these and the first one is called Jip Jip Rocks. It's an Australian Shiraz empty bottle from the weekend. That was really, really nice. That's from a family owned um, vinery. And it was, it had quite a depth to it is the only way I can describe it with, without sort of knowing anything about wines and, 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 and the composite of them, if you like, but had a really nice depth to it. And I really enjoyed that one. And another one we had, which was really rather delicious, which had like almost a peppery taste to it. And this has got an element of chocolate in as well, but this is called Little Giant and it's a Barossa Shiraz. So another Shiraz, that was very, very tasty and quite a different taste. When I first had it, I thought I could taste like a toffee flavor, but actually it's a chocolate flavor that's in that. So that was yummy. But my ultimate favorite, and there's still three quarters of a bottle left of this. So maybe this will be for next weekend. This is my ultimate favorite at the moment. It's called the Hedonist. It's from Waitrose, not the cheapest wine in the world, but there is six pound off a bottle this week, um, but it's still 11 99 with six pound off. So it's not the cheapest wine, but not the most expensive. And it's gorgeous. Again, it's a Shiraz. And it says on here, it may be a fine line, but to increase pleasure and reduce pain is the aim of the hedonist. Majestic sunshine feeds our sustainable vines before we let that age old miracle of fermentation to occur with the minimum of interference, fulfill the relaxed Australian ethos of a glass in hand and submit to hedonism. <laughs> it's absolutely delicious, very, very smooth. No aftertaste, just gorgeous. And I've really enjoyed having a little glass or two of wine with the beautiful food that Paul has cooked recently. In. Well, long may that continue. I thought I'd share that with you. If you know of any really nice wines or um, you find that certain wines complement certain dishes, et cetera, et cetera, let me know what you think. And going forward, as we're doing more recipes and more cooking on the channel, you might be able to suggest to us some really nice wines that will go with the meals that we are preparing and give us some tips as well. So there we go. So unfortunately, once again, Grace has had another bout of her recurring tonsillitis. And this week she was given a different antibiotic that hasn't done anything for the tonsillitis, but has made her very sick. So unfortunately, we're back at the doctors for new medication that hopefully will work this time. 
she was in pretty good spirits when we got there and had the giggles, so hopefully she is starting to improve. paper that I got off Amazon this week is just so nice I had to show it to you it's very very thick almost like the texture of wallpaper it's absolutely beautiful and I really love this springy Easter design this sort of little daisy and of course it is Grace's birthday so I'm using it as birthday wrapping paper but it'd be so lovely for Easter gifts as well and anybody that's got a birthday in spring but the quality is superb. I will link the description down below for you. Together with these premium reusable gift bags, also off Amazon by a company called Nush Nush. Um, they are metallic. You can get them in different colours. But they are super thick and they almost feel like material. But they have this metallic finish, these very, very strong handles which are material and the whole thing feels like material. So they are super, super strong and just absolutely great for gifts. And being that bit metallic, it's a bit sort of sparkly and special, isn't it? So I've just wrapped a couple of presents for Grace for her birthday. And hopefully that's gonna cheer her up. So here we are having our moment on the bed. And on my bed this evening is a new pillow. I treated myself to this new pillow for my bed from next this week. So there's a little extra purchase for you. But it's April now. It's April. Wow, it really is the spring, although the weather doesn't suggest the same at the moment. But it's spring. And because we put our clocks forward last weekend here in the UK, we've got the lighter evenings. So... It's light till about eight o'clock, which is great. And if just the weather would improve a little bit, it would be so nice to get in the garden when I come home from work and get some fresh air. And, and just most of the time I'm in the garden in the spring and the summer when the weather's good. So I'm really looking forward to the weather turning, hopefully at some point, so we get to do that. But the year is flying and it's been, as you know, a very positive start to 2023 for me i'm enjoying absolutely everything enjoying very much being on the channel here with you um it's just a bit of a shame this week grace is ill again and it's prolonged because she was given some different antibiotics to what she was given last time because it's possible that the original infection hadn't cleared up completely hence why she's got it again but those antibiotics didn't contain any penicillin and all they did were make her very sick. So she had about four or five days of vomiting. So she wasn't keeping the antibiotic in any way. So she's gone back on to the original antibiotic, which has stopped all the sickness and made her feel better in herself. But her throat is still very, very raw. And I've looked at it and it's not a pretty sight at all. I have never seen a case of tonsillitis so bad. So I'm really feeling for her. I mean, if you can think of any suggestions that we can try, we've, we've I think, practically tried most things to help, but um, we're struggling at the moment as to anything else to try and help soothe the pain. She's alternating between paracetamol and ibuprofen as painkillers, but, and some throat sweets and what have you, and gargling with salt water and all those different things we've tried but she's yeah she's really struggling at the moment and of course this weekend it's her birthday she's 19 actually on Monday the 3rd of April but our birthday celebrations if you like of this weekend which I'll show you a bit of next week hopefully if we're able to do them so keep your fingers crossed there I also wanted to mention another channel to you that I have been watching and following for some time. 
and it's a lady called Jane and her channel's called Just Janie and I will link that here for you. Um, I find her very watchable and entertaining, very similar kind of content to myself in that she's um, a mom and she shows us and tells us all about her day, what she's been doing. She also does a video every week called Meals of the Week where she'll show you all the meals she's done over the course of the week. She does different hauls, shopping hauls, so not dissimilar to myself, but she's highly entertaining. She's very comical and she hasn't quite got to 1,000 subscribers yet. And obviously I did my collaboration with Tony Interior over Christmas time and that enabled me to get to 1,000 subscribers. And if I can help someone else do that, I really want to. And if you get opportunity, have a look at just Janie's channel and see if we can get her to 1,000 subscribers. So um, that's one I've been catching up on with recently. You know my other favourites, still ch checking in from time to time on Andrew Gilroy's channel, and which is Narc Daily. Um, that was my counselling channel, very much so. Um, two years or so ago now. Um, and I don't have the need to watch it daily anymore. But for anybody that um, was in a similar position to myself, it's well worth watching and digesting and educating yourself. Um, if you find yourself in a relationship of any description, whether it's a friend, family member, uh, partner, husband, wife, sibling, whatever it is, find yourself in a situation where it's very difficult to um, understand the personality of the person that you're associated with. It's very educational channel. So that's, that's one of my top channels. And I need to catch up on Naomi's life because I love that. I find it really relaxing. I always watch her channel before I go to bed at night because um, I just find it really relaxing. That's another one of my favourites, as you know. So let me know what some of your favourite YouTube channels are. And um, if they're ones that I haven't seen before, I might just give them a little look and see what's going on. Anyway, the other thing to tell you is, as you know, I'm going on holiday in June, which would be great. I shall take you with me. Don't worry about that. But I've also booked another one. Get me? I will be going to Ireland in September of this year. And it's something that I've wanted to do for a long time. I have Irish grandparents on my mother's side and I have never been. Well, actually, no, that's not right. I have actually been to Belfast, but my family originate from Southern Ireland. My sister used to go all the time. My son Adam has been and loves it. And for whatever reason, I've never done it, never got around to it. So I'm going to do a little bit of a sort of tour over about five days, which will include places like Sligo, Carrick, Dublin, um, Kilkenny, Dorky, a lot of places that my family originated from and areas where Paul's family are still living. So we should be able to visit them as well. So that's really exciting. I'm really looking forward to that. But there's a long way to go before then. And, and a lovely holiday in Mallorca and a lovely holiday in Devon coming up with mom as well. So that's it really for this week. Uh, busy week, <laughs> obviously. And um, a lack of sleep week as well with Gracie being poorly. But not to worry, these things happen. So keep your fingers crossed that we get to have her birthday and that all things improve and go back to being all things good for this time next week. And I hope you are all well. Please let me know what you are up to this week and what you've got coming up. And until then, hope you've enjoyed this week's video and I look forward to seeing you next Sunday. Until then, stay safe, stay in the boat and keep doing all things good. And I will see you next week. Thank you for joining me. Take care. Bye.